Minutes with DrywallInstruction.com. Let's take a minute and talk about taping and coating what we call a butt joint. A butt joint is when there is not a beveled edge on the edge of the sheetrock. It's just a flat sheet of sheetrock up against another, butted up against another. And so we don't have a, a void to fill here. So we need to take some precaution and do uh, take a couple of extra steps. So first, let's go ahead and, and tape this. I've got my taping mud here that I've got mixed up. And I'll go ahead and coat that seam with taping mud. And once I have that all coated, no bubbles or anything, I'll go ahead and use my paper tape, which I prefer to use over mesh tape. You can see that in my tape paper versus mesh uh, segment. I'll go ahead and put my, my tape on and go ahead and wipe it tight. And so I'm not gonna leave any mud there, I'm going to go ahead and press down on my, on my tape and go ahead and get it wiped completely, making sure that my edges are nice and tight and that I don't leave any mud on the outside edge. So I've got my, my seam uh, taped and so the next thing I'll do is I'll grab my pan and knife. I'll be using a, a 12 inch knife right off the bat on this seam. And I'll go ahead and load that up with topping. As you notice, I'll go ahead and, and put a coat. I'll make a, a wipe right down each side of that tape first. And so I'll get my mud built up like that. And then I'll go ahead and do the opposite side and coat that, the junk out of my mud. So I'll go down each side. Then I'll take my knife and I'll press on the outside corner of my knife and press really tight and go right down this. And so there's no, no mud left on that outside edge at all. Then I'll do that on the opposite side as well, the same thing. And then I'll take my mud and I'll just go really lightly over the top. Or just a, a, a thin coat right over the top of that tape. Not building up so the our goal is to uh, have as little of a hump in the middle as possible so that this feathers and we can't see it when we're done. So again, I'll go ahead and wipe those edges a little bit. And then in the middle, just to get my, to get my mud nice and uniform, I'll go ahead and take one last swipe over that, getting rid of any air bubbles and that type of a thing. And so I've, I've got a nice wide uh, uh, seam now, and, I, and so I'm feathering out on the edges so that when I sand this, I can take this mud down in the middle and these edges off and have as little a hump as possible once I get totally done. This coat that I've put on here, once it dries and I sand it, I'll be 99% there. Uh, you can go littler coats if you'd like to. It's not necessary. This buildup right here will be great. This mud that I'm using is topping and it's straight out of the box. I haven't watered it down or anything, so it's not going to shrink, but it is going to be nice to sand. I put my tape on with all purpose, put that away and coat with topping. I hope this is helpful to you and you'll uh, continue to, to follow us here at drywallinstruction.com.